Hi, so today I want to go over my new 4K gaming rig that I've put together. Um, what makes this a bit different and what's kind of made it quite challenging to set up is that this had to be in a home theater kind of form factor because um, at the end of the day, if you want to play 4K, you've probably got the 4K monitor in your TV. So I don't know how many of you want to, you know, sit in front of a desk and play 4K. I don't personally. Um, I really wanted this to be in my living room. So getting this, all these components and getting components that worked in this kind of form factor made it quite difficult. Um, the only other problem that I had was because when I first put this together, it was really loud. Um, and if you have other people in the room with you, uh, the kind of the CPU fans and GPU fans are really kind of off-putting. So I spent a little while kind of rebuilding this and came up with the kind of the quietest set of components I could. Um, so I kind of wanted to walk through these a little bit because if uh, anyone else has been thinking, hey, you know, I want to play 4K my, you know, on my sofa and I don't want it to sound too loud. Um, but I also want to be able to overclock this because if you are running at 4K, you're going to want kind of a really high frame rate. Um, I'm running a GTX 1070 here. Um, I decided against the 1080 for a few reasons, um, mainly because uh, even though it's way more expensive than a 1070, you still will not get 60 frames at 4K. Uh, in fact, actually, if you buy a Titan and looking at the benchmarks, you still won't get 60 frames a second. So I kind of thought I'm going to sell all of the, uh, the 1070 here and you know get about 45 frames. So um, if I really want to push that even more, maybe into like the 50 frame territory, um, I have the ability to overclock the GPU and the CPU um, later on. But I had to do quite a bit of research to pick components that will let me overclock because if you have a, a tiny CPU fan, um, that's just not going to cut it. If you have kind of the, the Intel stock CPUs, um, CPU fans, uh, there's no way that they're going to keep your system cool enough um, whilst overclocking. So um, just walking through quickly some of the, the, the kind of the main components here that um, allow you to have a quieter system. Um, the PSU is kind of like your, your main thing that you should consider. This is a platinum rated PSU, which means that the it won't be as hot. Um, when running this and in fact there's a you know there's a little switch on the side here which puts into like a hybrid mode and uh, I, I don't think I've ever had the fan switch on so because it's the platinum rated efficiency it doesn't need cooling and it doesn't need to switch another noisy fan on so um, moving on to the GPU here from Paylet this is one of the, the dual fan configurations being dual fan this allows it to uh, stay a bit cooler um, one of the kind of the features of the Paylet, and kind of one of the main reasons why I bought it, is that this has the ability to go into a zero decibel mode. So when you're not gaming, it will actually just switch the fans completely off, um, which is you know it's kind of really cool. Um, so I actually struggle to hear this computer when I'm not gaming. So the amount of times I walk up to it, and be like, is it on? I can't hear. I can't tell. Um, so that's a feature of the, the payload. Um, I actually had to get a ROM upgrade off of the forum because uh, this, I think, shipped without the, the zero decibel um, ROM inside it. So if you end up with one of these cards, um, you may have to to look into that, at getting the, the, the ROM upgrade on the card. Um, also, what's really nice about the payload is that it's not a two and a half slot card. This is actually a two slot card. And it's actually one of the kind of the shorter cards. Um, I think this goes up to about 300, so 30 centimeters. Um, I'll look it up and write up about that. Um, one of the things I really struggled with actually with the card lengths was a lot of the, the newer cards were, you know, much longer coming out to about there. Um, I did have to go and buy a whole new um, PC case to fit in the cards because this, uh, case was kind of the only home theater case that would actually take a modern size card um, even with uh, this one being a lot shorter than the other gpus on the market um, so again you know the requirement of playing 4k in your living room um, does really kind of affect every single thing you buy um, the next thing i did 
was buy a CPU fan, well replace the existing CPU fan. So if I move that over here, you can see that this is a um, quite a large CPU fan here. Um, this is actually a dual CPU fan configuration. So this is a uh, twin 135 mil CPU fans, um, which you can't really see here because the heat sink is about that big. It is absolutely huge. And there are twin CPU fans um, on top and bottom of the heat sink. Um, so this is from Be Quiet, and I think this is the TF Rock. Um, I'll put the exact model number up um, later on after this video. And uh, this this make this made a big difference. Um, and kind of this is one of the main things I want to talk about today was picking the right CPU fan. Um, was you know took took some time. It took me a few days to go over all the benchmarks and to kind of pick the exact fan that allowed me to be quiet but yet um, ran um, still pretty cool. Um, a lot of the, the, the kind of the quiet CPU fans you can get out there, which are designed to, you know, not um, make a lot of noise, uh, will cause your CPU to run really, really, really hot. So it means that forget trying to overclock because if they're already running too hot when uh, they're at stock clock speeds, you won't be able to overclock the system. So I do really recommend um, the same CPU because this will be able to be overclocked um, which means that you'll be able to get slightly more power and performance out of your uh, you know your 1070 and uh, if you have one of the K model Intel CPUs so the idea that you'll be able to get you know closer closing the gap between the 1080 uh, performance and that's that's kind of it really so um, I hope that um, this kind of setup will, uh, and this tutorial will help people to uh, decide which uh, case that they want. Um, if I move this there, you can probably see, uh, I wanted to show off the case a little bit. Um, this is the Silverstone case. Um, it is quite big for a home theatre, it's much larger than the previous one I had. Um, but it still fits quite nicely under your TV. So um, this is what the whole thing looks like. Um, and yeah, and if this helps you out, you know, wanting to do your 4K gaming on a PC in the living room, um, this is kind of all the components you need. Um, I'll put all the details up on the blog. Thank you very much.